In this video, I'll walk you through the basic steps of compositing in Affinity Photo. This is a good starting point if you simply want to see an example of how compositing works. I'll tap Open, then choose Import Document, and I'll select this player, JPEG file. When you import an image as a new document, the content becomes the initial background layer. I'm going to introduce another layer in the form of an image. To do this, I'll go to the Document menu, tap Place, choose Place from Files, select the Smoke JPEG, and tap Open. I can tap once to place the image as a new layer. Now, on the Layers panel, I'll change the blend mode of this layer to Screen, and it will blend nicely with the image beneath. I do need to adjust the position and scale of the layer. I'll enable snapping up here, then pinch to zoom out. Now I'll snap the layer to the top left of the document and scale it until it covers the entire base image. I also want to flip this layer horizontally so the smoke isn't over the player's face. To do this quickly, I can tap up here and choose Flip Horizontal. I've now composited this smoke overlay on top of the original image to create quite a powerful effect. To take this further, I might add a white balance adjustment from the Adjustments panel. I can drag the balance controller all the way to the right, and this will lend the composition a warm tone. What I'll now do, however, is change the blend mode. I'll go for soft light. Then I'll lower the layer opacity to 50% to reduce the effect of the white balance adjustment slightly. Hiding and showing the adjustment demonstrates the result. I've achieved a contrast enhancement effect that also applies a slightly warmer tone to everything. Now I want to add some real grit to this image and make the detail pop. The clarity filter is ideal for this. I'll go to the filters panel, enable add live filters, then tap Clarity. And I'll increase the Strength controller all the way to 100%. At this point, I may decide to experiment with the white balance settings. To revisit them, I can open the Layers panel, then tap the white balance thumbnail. I could then, for example, drag the balance controller all the way to the left to give the composition a much cooler look. Finally, I could also try altering the position of the smoke. I'll select the smoke layer, switch to the move tool, and reposition it to the left. If I'm not sure about this change, I can simply undo the last operation with a two finger tap. And that was a very basic look at compositing. If you're interested, please do watch some of the other tutorials for more advanced examples and ideas. Thank you for watching.